there's something about the Bible which really, you know, it's it's got something alive in it, and and it comes out in those situations, and the promises they really sound good to me. They really sound very real to me. Pray for India, pray for India, pray for Hailing from a Hindu Punjabi background, well-known singer Anil Khan had two major reasons to read the Bible. Music was one of them. They used to ask me to compose songs for them, even when I was not a believer. You know, I used to read the Bible. Okay, you want a song from uh, Corinthians? Okay, I'll read it and I'll create a song. You know. The other reason for Anil Khan to read the Bible was the quest for truth. Deep down somewhere in my heart, I wanted to be close to God. I wanted to have that bliss. And when I used to read all the scriptures like Gita and all this, and I used to read Ramayana and I used to read about the rishis and. You know, and how they used to go and do tapasyas, and used to go on Himalayas, and and you know, even the ants would eat them. And then, then after many, many, many rebirths, they would achieve salvation. I used to always, uh, you know, I used to always wonder, what is the easiest way? What is the best way? Is that the right way? Or how can I be very close to? It? I, I had that thing in my heart always. This thirst for the truth was so overwhelming that even his wife Rina was swept along in the tide. My search for truth was not so deep, but he, he was not satisfied with just the plain answers, and he was always searching wherever he went. If he met some uh, a guru or a very learned man, he would want to ask more questions. He was really thirsty. He was always asking for something new. Anil Kant looked to the Bible only as a reference for composing Christian song. He found its way to salvation too simple. But at the time of need, it was these very scriptures that popped up in Anil Khan's mind. In times of situations, nothing used to come to my help, but these scriptures to always stand up. You know, there was like like a scripture which said, "I will guide you with my own eyes. I will preserve you." You know, these two scriptures were very strong for me. Anil Khan's creative mind was earnestly searching for the truth, but he did not know that the truth itself had come down in search of him in the form of Lord Jesus Christ. I used to read the Bible every night. I used to, you know, I was, I was, I used to try to find out. I used to read other religions, other other religious books also. But one day, when I read the scripture, you know, which said, "I am the way and the truth and the life," that night when I slept, that scripture came very real to me. And it's like Jesus actually talking to me and said, "Anil, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And your salvation is a gift from me." That night, Anil Kant knew. That his search for the truth had ended in Lord Jesus. It was such an, an such it was such an incident, you know. That night was it was like a night of light, you know. I really felt, you know, that I have I have achieved that salvation, which people, which which I used to think might take thousands of years, millions of years, many births, thousands of births, and you know, immense hard work, penance, whatever you know it takes, which what I had learned. But that night I felt. I I got my nirvana. I got my mukti. I got that ultimate salvation. Anil's epiphany had transformed him inside out, and the change was so obvious that it was soon noticed by his wife. He he stopped uh, reading all the other books, and he he started reading the Bible with so much of zest and so much of enthusiasm. I slowly saw, saw a very very a deep change in him. Uh, earlier if he was restless he had become more peaceful he was more attentive more he used to listen and he used to try and talk uh, his uh, sometimes there are situations when you can get angry his uh, if he was facing the same situations he became less angry reena was not ready to accept this foreign god though she liked the changes in her husband until one day anil posed her a question this one day when anil asked me um uh, What would happen if the world would come to an end? Where would you go? Do you know what, what the answer is going to be? This was when we were struggling, when when I was struggling to know the truth, and I had no answer. And he says, "Why don't you find out in your scriptures and and let me know what what would you what would you do after your after you die?" That was again a a very big question mark which I could not answer. Neither did I have any answers from anyone else. But uh, when I read about uh Jesus I knew that he died for our sins I I was very touched with uh what uh, how his life was and and that that whole concept of Jesus taking our sins away was a very new concept which which nobody had taught us
Convicted through the scripture, Reena believed in Lord Jesus Christ and accepted him as her personal savior. Joy multiplied in every aspect of her life. Today, Anil and Reena have traveled across the globe singing the good news of the Lord Jesus. Notes have formed the chords and chords have become the chords through which they are united in Christ and sing for his glory. And the truth will set you free.